watching Fox 24 News at 9. After a Prairie Grove school district employee lost her daughter in a car accident, she's now on a mission to change distracted driving laws in Arkansas. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Peyton Yeager. I spoke with the still grieving mother on how she's making sure people think twice before getting behind the wheel. Good morning, Jeffrey. When the sun comes up, I'm so glad you have your jacket on this morning. It's time for Peggy Hackett to get to work. Usually the other ones don't get here until right before it's time for school to start. Hackett guards the crosswalk at Prairie Grove Middle School with her life. This is one way in the morning and in the afternoon. I still had five minutes. Something she learned was precious. Oh, her daughter Hannah, an aspiring country singer, was killed in a car accident in 2006 when she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. That pain is horrible, and I do not want any other parent, if it can be avoided, to have to go through the pain that we've gone through. Now the mother takes safety inside a vehicle seriously. I see a lot of distracted driving, um, and I'm very concerned about it. In Arkansas, talking on the phone while driving in a school zone is a secondary law, meaning a police officer has to pull you over for a different offense first to cite you for being on your mobile device. We are trying to get it through the Senate legislation with uh, uh, Charlene Fight's help. I'm trying to push it through the legislation this year to get it um, enacted into a primary law. I have to make sure that my kids, I call them my kids, are safe um, so they can return home um, to their parents that day. One of these parents is Rachel Hubbs. She watches her son walk to and from school every morning before she heads to work at the hospital. I got to see the end results of people not paying attention to what's going on and the biggest thing I saw was people would want to take that one second back. Hackett says after losing one of her own, I love you mommy and daddy. She feels a responsibility to protect her children from any danger on the roads. Have a good day girls. Now, Peggy Hackett has had success in introducing legislation in the past. In 2009, Hackett changed wearing your seatbelt from a secondary to a primary law, as well as passing a graduated driver's license law. Now,